Welcome to Geek Archaeology, where we dig deep into anime from all eras. Today I want to address the question of peak anime production. For the past five to ten years or so, industry insiders have been saying that anime is in a bubble, there are too many anime being made. It's easy to get caught up in the drama of that claim, but well, let's examine it. There are three, I would say, fairly obvious indicators of an overproduction of anime. First off, there's the sheer number of anime being made. Here's a chart of the number of anime released by decade, according to analysts, at least. Now, you have to take this with a grain of salt, because the length of a TV anime series has decreased dramatically across the decades, and the ONA market allows for very short, very cheap anime, but still, a lot more anime over time. Secondly, there's been no fundamental change in the market to pay for all this new anime. Sure, China has opened up in recent years, which definitely brings in new demand, but licensing fees to one country probably won't offset the larger amount of labor. Third, there's the low salaries of animators in Japan. Now, I put this this far down on the list because animator salaries have always been low in Japan, so clearly the industry has been just fine despite that fact. However, it still might be a contributing factor if new talent leaves quickly and it's hard to entice new talent. I just haven't seen any clear, reliable data on that. So, are we in a bubble, and is the bubble bursting? Well, I went on Analyst and pulled data for the number of anime titles released since 1970. And sure enough, the number of anime rose and rose and rose, and then just recently started to dip. The bubble is bursting. Note this dip started in 2019, before COVID. Further, while COVID did delay some anime, 2020 saw a reasonably healthy schedule. So it's clear, the amount of anime rose dramatically, whoops, rose dramatically, and the bubble burst, and there's much less anime being made. Except, that chart counted the number of anime titles, TV series, movies, OVAs. Remember what I said earlier, that there were more episodes of anime in the past? So, I went back and counted the actual minutes of anime produced per year. For each show, I multiplied the episode count by the episode length. Now, there's undoubtedly some fuzzy data in here for certain special anime works like the McDonald's commercial, as well as obscure one-off anime from the early days, but this should at least show us major trends. And the picture is a little more complicated. Sure, we see the line dip at the end, but the actual amount of anime uh, animation produced per year has been at around the same level for 20 years. The industry has been producing about the same minutes of animation per year since the original Naruto premiered. So, are we in a bubble? If so, this has been an extremely long-lived bubble. Now, I'm not saying that the industry has no problems, or even that there's no bubble at all. The industry may indeed be producing more anime than it can reasonably support. But it's easy to get caught up in the drama, to believe there's clearly a catastrophe just around the bend. Life's more complicated than that. The industry's not quite as dramatic as it seems. Do you have some of your own data to add? Please leave a comment below. And if you like this video, please subscribe and join our Discord, where we talk all about anime topics like this. That's it. See you next time.